Hi, it's Sarah here from Crafting and Stamping back again uh, with our on the hour extravaganza projects and I'm just flitting over on my computer to the live videos so that I can check what's happening there and I've just actually um, put my desktop available so that you can see what I'm doing and let's just make sure that I'm in shot so there we go so we're going to carry on now with the celebration product products sorry and yeah I'm just trying to get to there we go that's it's on my computer just trying to get to where I need to be in case in case anybody's there with me and uh, please do chat and let me know um i've got it up on the computer so that i can see if somebody does speak to me um so what we're going to be looking at this time is the sunshine and rainbows designer series paper and i'm actually mixing it with this catching butterflies and I only got this yesterday, so I've not had too much time to, to play with it yet. The Sunshine and Rainbows papers I have been using a lot just recently. And there's lots of baldy designs. You get, where are we, 48 sheets in total in a pack. This one you can actually punch out with the Cloud Punch that is in the catalogue, the January to June catalogue. And we've got lots of rainbow coloured items. And these pair well, very well with the, um, I've used a lot of that one, obviously. Um, these pair very well with the rainbow, the rainbow of happiness stamp set and the rainbow dies. And I'll show you some of the cards that I've made with these. So lots of lovely papers there. And this little stamp set is, is a little gem, I think. Um, this is something that I wanted to get. I couldn't quite stretch to it on my first lot of ordering. Um, but I, I think it's great. We've got something for colouring in. And if you feel that the little girl with the butterfly net is a little bit too much, I'm going to show that you can just add the butterflies and the butterflies are so easy to colour and you've got a group of butterflies and you've also got this little single butterfly as well. The sentiments that we've got are not specific particularly to anything, they're just very nice general uh, sentiments so they can be used for all sorts of events. So let me show you some of the cards that I've already made. Like I say, more with the papers because I've not had a chance to play with this. So I combined this one with the otters, which we'll be covering in a little while. This one was done with the, um, the stamped rainbow and I brought in butterflies, the brass butterflies. Um, so you can see that just there's something about rainbows and butterflies that go together for me. And I just wanted to show that you can flip over I didn't show you that sorry I showed you all the brights and I did not flip over and show you the more subtle patterns and this this you know it does have bright colors but it does have okay not all subtle patterns but nice um sunny ones we've got the the dots we've got these pretty subtle uh patterns in soft sea foam in I think it's probably pool party We've got more stripes of rainbows. I used this for the water. We've got some nice misty moonlight that could be used as background for anything. Hearts, little rainbows, but very subtle. Um, a beautiful granny apple green. Again, that's one that I've used a lot of and sunshine. So, like I said, we've got subtle patterns as well. And they are just as useful. So just as useful. Let me move those over to one side. And 
so we've seen those and then I used the same paper but here we've got it stamped rainbow and here we've got a die cut rainbow so 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 what is it about these just in case you haven't caught my earlier video these two items are free with a purchase individually uh, free with a purchase during celebration celebration runs until the 28th of february but i would say if there's something that you particularly want i would get it sooner rather than later because sometimes some of the items do sell out and if they sell out then i'm afraid that's it you've lost your chance you would just need to choose a different different celebration item so these are free with a 45 pound purchase that's free with a 45 pound purchase that's free with a 45 pound purchase so if you spent 90 pound you can get them both and that goes for any of the things that i'm showing today there's no limit on how many you can get which is just as well because i'm collecting the whole lot so and i'm actually doubling up on some of them because some things i really use a lot of so it's great and so that would happen whoever you purchase from if you place a purchase with me using my house code um and i'll put that in the um the comments below very shortly um if you place place a purchase with me of a minimum of 45 pound then in addition to whatever you've bought and whatever your celebration goodie is that you've chosen in addition to that i will send you a thank you card along with the make and take pack from today colors may vary colors and patterns may vary um but i will send you the make and take pack with a thank you card as a thank you for purchasing from me okay so what we're going to make on this hour is actually something a little bit different we're not doing a card this time we're doing a little goodie bag so this is the pattern that i'm using this time and this is one of the bright rainbows that we've got in here uh, might even have run out of those entirely let me what was on the back of it Ah, it's that one. Have that one out. There they are. So, um, so I'm going with the rainbows. And the great thing about these rainbows in particular is that there's a whole host of rainbow sweets out there that you can then use to gift to somebody. And I just had um, a little shop the other day and ordered the fizzy rainbow belts and also the rainbow laces so what i'm going to do is show you how to make a little packet like this for this one i used the rainbow belts and i think i'm going to do that again just because i think that they, they fit in the packet a little bit better so what we are using is one of these sort of gift bags from Stacking Up and I'll just show you where to find that in the catalogue and let me get to the packaging. Okay, here we go. So number nine, it's the printed gusseted cellophane bags and you get 25 of these for £6.50 and because they're gusseted it actually means you can get a lot in them because they will expand I've left this one flat um, but you could get you can get a lot in these bags you really can now one of the things that I'm going to show you is what happens if you don't want your bag to be that long you can see here i've actually got a smaller bag so you've got a couple of options you could fold over and tape the top but what i do 
is I trim away what I don't need. So what we'll do is we'll cut into our bag of sweets and I just keep this fairly open. I, I don't want to hold it up and have the sweets fall down. I want them to stay straight. So I'm just going to pop them in and slide them down like that. That way as well, if I end up posting these, it's a little easier to do when they're flatter like this. So, nice little gift for grandkids or older kids, even. Right, so I've got those in. I'm going to trim this and I'm just going to trim it, allowing a little bit extra. I don't want to go all the way down here because I want to be able to pop these behind the um, bag topper that we're going to make so I'm just going to, I'm not measuring it at all I'm just going to cut that off you could if you wanted to save that and use that behind um, card windows etc um, so it's it's worth hanging on to if you're a canny crafter and what we've got here is a bag topper and all it is is a simple piece of card that we're going to fold in half. I've already cut the Sunshine and Rainbows DSP to size uh, and I've cut it separately rather than um, doing it and folding it over so that I can keep my rainbows facing the same way at the right way on both sides so we're going to glue these on and I think I'm going to make this one the back we're going to cover up some of the front anyway with our sentiment as it were so so it's no use necessarily keeping the best bit for the front it's just having something that that looks right so so that's my back and this is going to be my front and i'm going to be covering a few different a couple of different coloring ideas today and there's also i'm not going to actually show the blends uh, I'm going to use our markers in a minute for colouring. But because I'm using the markers, I'm going to be using stays on ink. Right, so I've got my sweets prepared there. I'm just going to move these out of shot now because I need a little bit of space. So let's pop the lid on my glue so it doesn't dry up. So we're going to be using, like I said, uh, I'm sorry that you're I'm breaking up. I don't know. I don't know if it is just you, Lynn. Hi, I've seen seen that you're saying that I'm breaking up. Um, it could be the signal because the weather's bad here. So I'm not sure whether there's anything I can do about that. Um, we shall see with the recordings whether they uh, whether they also break up as well or not right so but nice to know you there Lynn hi so I'm going to use these and grab my blocks now because these are the red rubber stamps I'm not needing a mat to uh, to work on um, I will just very quickly show when you get your brand new stamps you get them on a sheet like this and you get the labels separately so if you are wanting to put the labels on and you don't have to you can just peel off the backing and use them on a block 
like that but you won't know which way up it is so you're going to have to be careful to make sure you've got it the right way up so I do these days put the labels on um, I, at one point I didn't but the cling that they use now is very very good but you do, so to to put the, the label on the back you find the right one so this is celebrate every beautiful thing and you need to peel off those bits you need to peel off the backing here then you do need to line this up and you need good light to make sure that you're getting it lined up well so I'm just hovering I can see I've got it lined up well and I pop it down like that and just press it firmly and then peel it back and you've got the label in place and now you know what's on that stamp Occasionally, um, if you're struggling, what you can do to get these in place, if I peel off this one, another technique that I've shared with people in the past, let's do this, what you can do is use, there we go, use your negative pop that over the top but again you've still got to get that just right and then pop your stamp down through and what I would say is lift that away first press again and peel that off it can take a bit of practice to get it to work properly so um, and unfortunately once it's on you can't move it so uh, that glue is very very firm right so that's our red rubber stamps and I can see that I'm saying hi nice to have somebody with me right so what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop this and get it a little bit straighter there we are so i'm going to stamp these on oh i can smell these sweets uh, i'm going to stamp these on with stays on the reason for this is because i'm then going to color my butterflies with marker pens and they're water-based so water-based needs stays on otherwise it would run if i use the memento black ink uh, with the markers it's, it's likely to run. If you're very, very careful, you might get away with it, but it's not easy. So stays on. And you need a special cleaner for the stays on. So I'm just going to stand up and pop that there like that. And I've gone for that one just because it talks about sweet. So I was looking for a sentiment that mentioned sweet. And then I'm inking up the butterflies and popping those there. There we are. So we'll just move those to one side. So to clean them, I will, in the break, use stays on cleaner first and then clean them on my scrub as well. Right, so that's my little butterflies. I've got these colours here for this as a guide. And if I bring in the other one that I did, oops, with the stamp stuck to it. Uh, you can see that I picked out the colours that I've got in these rainbows here and the mango melody that was behind. So I'm going to my marker set. I'm picking out a selection of colours. So we've got Bermuda Bay. We've got Magenta Madness. Mango Melody and granny apple green that's not granny apple that one's granny apple so i'm going to go with these colors for coloring in and so now 
I'm just going to I'm going to colour in the insert. You could just colour these all the butterfly a single colour. You don't have to um, separate out the colours, but it's very therapeutic actually to to sit and colour. So I'm going to use my mango melody and I do need a good turn the end around actually and use the fine tip and I like using the brush tip but it this is very fine work so you might be better off using I'll show you the the fine tip at this end for colouring the edges of the wings in. Like that and I'm switching back I still like that brush tip better so I'm going to colour in as well the insides of these am I still breaking up Lynn or is it holding it out I'll switch again and this time I think I'm going to just colour my outsides here. Um, it's, yes, it's, it's fun to do a little bit of colouring. I love my blends though, I've got to say. Um, I did, I'll bring in a, in a second the, the sports car that I did the other day and it wasn't my best colouring, to be honest. And I think it's because I was using marker pens and it was a slightly bigger area um, and I, I just love the finish that blender pens give you. And you'll notice me turning my butterflies a little and that's just to make sure that I try and get the best light so that hopefully I don't go over the, the lines too much. But you can see, especially if you were doing them all uh, one colour, single colour, it doesn't take long to do. So I'm now going to pop this up and there's my dimensionals and let me just use three. I'm going to pop this up on our rainbows and then we're going to grab our tear and tape because I find that this works really well for sealing a bag. And what I do is I, with tear and tape, you don't need scissors, but I just do use them. So I like to put a piece at the top. This is going to hold the topper closed um, just a little bit and stop it from gapping too much. And then I'm going to pop a bit at each edge. Not all the way out to the edges. You don't need to go all the way out to the edges. And I just press that down because it helps actually release it to lift it back up again. So I'm just going to move those down. And what I like to do is take off, as it were, the the opposite side first so this is our front that I've just taken off I'm going to place the bag just below where that other tear and tape is the one that's going to hold the fold close and I'm just holding it in between and folding over like that and then you can turn it over and remove the other two pieces of tape and again fold and close 
And there's our little sweetie bag with its topper. So that's what we've got there. And you, you won't get the sweeties in the kit. I think I've mentioned that. Uh, you will just get the, but you will get the bag and you can put whatever you want into yours. So you could put a pack of cranes in for the kids or you, like I said, it's a gusseted bag. So you could put quite chunky chocolates in there. And if I just bring in, so this is some of the other colouring that I've done with one of the other sets. And this is one that I did do with um, the markers. And you can see there are pen lines. You can just make out the pen lines in there. Whereas if I go with the blends, it actually does blend out to... This one is a little different because I've actually gone for a little bit of a darker look along the seams of the car. Um, but you can see that they've got a softer, a softer look that car to that car. And I use the blends as well on that. So, so I'm not going to be using the blends today. And that is our other, one, our other uh, celebration stamp set, the driving by. Again, been great to use that. But this is our rainbows. Um, and uh, I think that that is quite a nice, fun project to do. And you could do it with the kids, grandkids, if you're looking after them at all. So and just bring back in to remind you, these were some of the other cards that I did with those same papers. So those are the papers. That is the stamp set that was just used. And that is that project. So well, let's set things aside. And just to give you a quick reminder. So the stamp set and the DSP choice of with a £45 purchase. And... If you want to place an order with me today, this is the card kit that you will get. So that's the one that we've just used. Like I say, probably going to be different patterns and colours, um, but something certainly similar to, to what we've used. Right, so I'm going to shut down from this one. We're going to do another um, project uh on the hour so the next one will be at three o'clock there is a game to play with a prize in the in the facebook feed so please do have a look at that and enter if you would like to if you've got any questions please uh message me um i'm around to chat between now and the next video and i'll be back like i say at three o'clock so thank you for stopping by.